Hi, good afternoon, everyone. We are on to homework for October 8th, which should be Wednesday. Okay, we are moving on from order of operation questions to variables and equations. So let's review very briefly what a variable is. A variable is an expression uh, that we solve for an unknown. So in this case, S is something we do not know. We are going to be looking for the answer to what is S. The letter can change. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F, anything you want, but it will be an unknown number. All right, let's go into our first question. It says, which part of this expression is a variable? Which part of this expression is a variable? In question one, it would be our B. B is our variable. We don't know what that number is. Okay. In question two, it asks which part of this equation is unknown? The word is a little bit different. They're asking for the part that is unknown or the part that's a variable. Those could be interchanged. They could be synonyms for each other. So at something that is unknown, we're going to use this variable, this letter to describe. So for the second question, it will be the variable V. In this middle box, you are to highlight the variable in each expression. I will let you do that on your own. I am going to move down and do an example for the word problems. So the first word problem says, William runs two miles each day. He goes for a run. Last week, William ran 18 miles, total miles. What does X represent? All right, so we have in our question two miles. And you will see that they put that right there. And you know that he ran a total of 18 miles. So what is our variable in this sentence? What does it mean? What is it representing? So the variable is representing each time he goes for a run, all right? So it means the number number of runs William took. We don't know if William ran for five days or seven days, okay? So that is our variable in this question. All right, I'm gonna move over to the next box right here. And it says, a teacher has some boxes. That is a really good hint some boxes in her closet. Each box contains two 
Each box contains 10 books, so I see the number 10 in our equation. The teacher has 100 books in her closet. What does the Y represent in this equation? So the Y represents the number of boxes. All right, I'm gonna do one more and that is gonna be this problem right here. Use X to write an expression to represent seven more than a number. So our X is going to be seven more than a number. So X more than a number plus seven. All right. All right, everyone, work the rest of the problems on your own. We'll see you tomorrow.